Mushi Mushi, my guys, and welcome back to Zenless Zone Zero. Today we're doing Bernice Story Quest. Before we get to that, let's do her trial character. Special attack uh, and test his study method. Double shot deal good with fire damage and accumulates fire. Amali builds up faster. When Bernice consumes energy, she will accumulate heat. Upon reaching 50 points, Bernice will enter the natural fuel cocktail state. While in natural fuel cocktail state, holding base attack consumes heat, leaves base attack, makes flames blend. When Bernice his enemies with her base attack, Mixed flames blend. It acts special attack, chain attack, dancer, and inflicts she inflicts the source effect. When other squadmen has enemies in the sorcery state, the after afterburn effect is triggered. Consume heat to deal fire damage to the target and accumulate fire ability buildup. Hit me! Hit me! Hit the pretty bitch! Hey, who's next? Hit me! No, nope, didn't work. Missed! Woohoo! Nice! Be a ability! I know these abilities. Burn them with your alt. This party is just started. Oh ho ho, beautiful. I'm playing for it later on. I am now gonna take the pull for a Bernice and I got 80 pulls ready. Hi! Hey, we got it! Listen to the music though. Gotta gig that pays well? Hey Nicole, oh I got you. I'm still here, sir. That's a ball. And then. Leave it to me. It's a leader. Oh my god! On the front lines. Are you joking? Oh, come on! That can be a device. They just keep pulling. They just keep clicking. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Oh, man. Well, it's okay. That's gotcha for you. Wait a minute. Like that. Okay, anyway, let's just start with the story quest. We'll never see two bosses out here on the other way. Do you come to hang out with us? Uh, I guess you can say that. Well, we're here to force for the task, not just to hang out. Why doesn't it happen visiting all the agents up the alien on the standard of our new commission? Because money's too tight these days, so we'll take a small commission now, too. Do legendary parties like you still have money worries? I guess it ain't easy making a living new earl you. But now that you're mentioning it, Bernice, there's something contract you used to cut his supplies inside the hollow. Oh yeah, that's true. It's a very easy commission. If you offer it, we could do don't know while we heal. Nani. Now? And while just digging ill old Kirby could get to some extra shut eye. Great, Bernice and Pepper, you're the best. We'll go back and get things ready. You'll see inside the hollow. Great, so Papa and I will see you down the hollow then. Once we're done, I hope to able some nice natural fuel. Nice! Bernice is very incredible after taking her commission and divides you into the hollow. Okay, looks like we're gonna do this now in our house, not over there. Okay, Belle, we'll do it now. Okay, you see that? Why is this gonna take that country and make some money to pay for your power bill? Understood. Thank you, Master. Very nice power. You're in a good mood today. Though your finance may be limited, Master, my power is not something I should advise cutting back on. If you wish to save money, I have complied a list of second tiers and recently expensive. Hey, hey, hey! On Trans Fast Snack from the conference store two days ago, seven tokens at the card cave without even being a top score yesterday, and today, gains in the arcade without me? You will be easy there! Next time for sure, okay? For sure! But I wasn't spending much recklessly. Those snacks were on sale. I used points to redeem those tokens. If our fortune would fail while it elapsed, uh, why can't Boston not ever win lottery? Let me guess, because I didn't get any tickets? Anyway, you should use the hollow dive system to do the commission wise. Must all be free as usual. Yeah, yeah, okay, sis, let's do the commission. Okay! Oh, what's this music? Ah, uh, what should I have her? But all well. I mean. I just know that they will get we ones. <laughs> I hope it's true. Yeah, burn them, burn them, burn them. Yeah, hit the bus. She wants to sleep. Oh! Bernice! Watch out! Tired and twist! Oh, she got heals and tipping over! Yeah. I mean, she probably just gets tired or weak. Aw, oh, I died, didn't I? Can take him. Turn away, Bernice. Woohoo! Burn it up! Incoming! Oh, that's good. Is it what? Where did it go? Go, well. I'm 
this thing? Oh, it teleported away! Okay. Damn, jeez. Actually, wait. Boxes, they have coins. They break them. Break those coins. So I want to get some sleep, but fuck! That's fine. Oh my goodness! Uh, explode! Okay, bye bye. They got boxes. They got coins. They got coins. Nope. They're explosions. Go inside. Bring it up. Ah! She got jumped! That's okay! Okay. Hey, me again, you big one. Miss me? Why are you acting like the Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Sorry! 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 Nice! Gone! Burn them. Burn them up. Yeah, we lost the fuck out of that one! Looks like there's someone up ahead! Up ahead? Burn them together! Swing left and right! Okay. okay, we got that done. What am I doing here? Thank you. Looks like luck isn't. <coughs> Watch out. Here they come again. It's still not over. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Be careful. Thanks, darling. Oh, watch this. Pokemon! Dude, get all the heels! Damn, she looks so fun to play as. If I ever got her. I mean, if I don't, oh well. Bernice, it's about time we wrap this up. Alrighty. Found him. This is my latest formula. Woo! Oh, I'll clap too. <laughs> nice. I wish I had you. <laughs> oh, thank you, little ones. And this cutie bangboo, of course. Uh, uh, glad you're okay. Anyone would have done the same. Oh, you don't have to thank me. Just thank Bernice. Are you really fine? Getting attacked by ethereals at your age is no laughing matter. <laughs> she looks really tough. And much more spirited than you, Piper. Oh, <laughs> such a sweet young lady. Keep it coming. I love hearing these things. I hope I'll be as spirited as you are when I turn 90. <laughs> I'm not 90 years old. Bernice. Is that your name? Thank you for rescuing me. I want to do something for you in return. Where do you work? I'll write you a thank you letter. Uh, getting a thank you letter for doing a good deed is so not rock and roll for a biker gang from the Outer Ring. Oh, is that so? Then do you want money? I have a lot of it. Uh, no, money can't convey my gratitude. Uh, wait, uh, don't be so quick to decide. <laughs> uh, Bernice, hey, Bernice, say something. Uh, you're right, there's no need to give us money. Money was the furthest thing from our minds when we saved you. Uh, please, just take care of yourself and live a healthy life until you're 90. Oh, I want to live longer than that. But you really are a nice young lady. All right. Then please take this. It'll bring you good luck. Is that a lottery ticket? I grabbed one while passing by the store. The friendly clerk there chose the numbers for me. My palms started getting hot when I purchased it. So I think it's a lucky ticket. I've lived more than enough years to know that this is a sign of Lady Luck smiling at me. I'm sure it's worth at least two million. Whoa! Two million? I'm 
gonna fill a swimming pool with nitro fuel and make Piper teach me how to swim! Uh, but I don't know how to swim either. Is it already getting to your head? Hmm, who knows. Bunny stays to watch the supply with Pipe while Papa and the Proxy escort all the outdoor hollow from the nearest exit. Okay. Proxy, are we thinking the same thing? Uh, the lottery ticket. About the lottery ticket getting to Bernice's head? Of course. Bernice's endearing quality is her unwavering optimism. <sighs> That's what I love about her. So I don't want to see her feeling down. Reality always brings you down, doesn't it? Though it's a pain, I'll take it upon myself to remind her of the reality. Hey! You're back! Guess what I'm thinking about? Three, two, one! That's right! I'm thinking about how we should split that huge prize of two and a half million between the three of us. We only left for ten minutes and the prize money has already grown by an imaginary 500,000? Oh, I wish my stocks could do that. Oh, I thought you'd be happy, Piper. Did you always like discussing the lottery with other truck drivers? It's not the actual tickets we love. It's the prize money. Ah, oh, Bernice, listen to me. Lottery tickets are a mix of statistics and pure dumb luck. But in the end, it's 95% statistics and 5% the dark side of society. Got it? <laughs> I don't get it at all! I hope you never do. It's too complicated for me to explain in detail, but a bet casually placed with numbers picked by the store, you might have a slim chance of winning a small prize. A big prize? <laughs> No way. But the results haven't been announced yet. It's too early to say there's no way. Ah, uh, don't give me one of those sports comic book lines like the opponents at their match point, but we haven't lost yet. Anyone who's made a bet knows miraculous victories only happen in comics. <sighs> Let me take a look at the ticket. The time on the ticket's still there, so it should be for tonight's draw. Oh, on TV? Cool. Can't wait. Hey, Proxy. I need to talk to you. It's practically impossible for this ticket to win. But I don't want Bernice to be alone when she gets disappointed. So, Bernice, let's head over to the video store on 6th Street to watch the draw, okay? We can watch it together. Okay. Why, so welcome back! But isn't Bo should be here soon? They must be taking a look around 6th Street right now. Wanna go look for them? Um, yeah, let's go find them. They're over there. Oh my god, what they're doing standing there. Hello. You'll find Bonnie is chatting with Papa outside of the convenience store. It's one free bottle. Papa, check it out. I just got the nuts for and one of the bottle free. My luck is so good today. I'm sure they had the chocolate on the lorry today. That's not how it works. These are too ugly, isn't it? We can't distrust the science. Oh! Why? I already made my mind up. We're still in the giant between the three of us. So why don't you start thinking about what you put your winning toys? Uh, no need to rush. Uh, Fox? Uh, why? Don't even bother. I won't give up trying to win on a prototype. If she's like a soda or something, the more that I win, the harder she gets. We'll try our best, haven't we? Not that we can do this in the cold when we really touch putting a legion. It's not about to begin. Why don't you head back to first proxy? Papa and I will come find you at the store after the finish of natural pool. Okay. They'll join Lloyd soon. Let's head back to the view store. Yeah. Oh, they're gone. Yeah, TV now. And look at them here. Style. Anyways, let's watch TV. Let's go. Here. Here are the weird numbers of the real target. The only way is at the normal time. I can't take this. That's how they do a lot of it. The more numbers you can match, the more you win. Ah, that's right. You know everything, Piper. I have no idea. Stop letting me watch the goddamn TV. The first number of the whole team. Do you think tickets... Oh, the first few numbers of the whole team. Do you think tickets can really hit the jackpot? Uh, he was hoping. Don't get too excited. The fire is pulled only tiny right now. But enough to cover the cups of team milk. What is it cost of team milk? That means why and Bill would have a shape cup cup. Uh, no way. Come on, prize milk. Go, go, go. At least give us enough for the fourth cup. And the next number is... Uh, that's our number two. Hey, hold on a sec. Do we really need the last two numbers now? Hey, we match all the other numbers? I was city of now. I was in the try of the final two numbers. The first number is I. Huh? Are those some of the series of tickets? And those are all the missed out tonight. We don't lose heart. And our lucky winners, congratulations. 
Before losing uh, tonight's first pleasure has reached the moon Denise. Let us now once again give flowers and applause. Our blessing to every those lucky winners. We actually won. <laughs> what? <gasps> we won! We really won. And it's the jackpot of three million. Three million Denny's? Whoa, that's a big number! We'll get one million each! Huh? <gasps> Wait. You were serious when you said that you planned to split the prize with us? Of course! She gave it as a thanks to all three of us. So obviously, the prize should be split evenly among us. Bernice... Huh? What is it? <sighs> it's nothing. You're such a good kid, Bernice. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you, Bernice. To be honest, this money is a real lifesaver. What's with the sudden praise? I just did what anyone would do. You two would do the same in my shoes, right? I don't know about the proxy, but my heart is likely as grimy as a truck's exhaust pipe, whereas Bernice's heart shines like a truck's headlight. The sexiest part of a truck isn't the headlights. It's the engine. Oh, when will my heart be able to rumble like an engine? <sighs> it's so nice to be young. Anyway, according to the show, it looks like the prize money won't be given out for a while. Then, shall we get going, Piper? Thanks for everything, Proxy. We'll contact you when the prize money arrives. Oh, don't worry. This lottery ticket is too important to lose. I'll make sure to keep it safe. <laughs> hey, it's bad luck to say something like that. I should hold on to the ticket just to Whoa, be safe. Price. Um, give it to her, I guess. Am I dreaming? Can I pitch your dick? Sister, what? The Granny Kid put his lottery ticket to say thanks, and I just happened to hit the million jackpot. Many million days are just ways to also classic please. I'm not sure I could do the same. However, there's no point in thinking about that right now. Tonight's theme is about selling this one million tennis world fair. Um, is trying to treat ourselves. Yeah, same. Yep, let's take a break. You think I'm done with this? No, I'm not. Ah, you, the proxy, proxy. Bernice, slow the fuck down. You're out of breath. What's up? I know we said we'd go claim all the men today, today, but something's gone wrong. There's something I can really handle myself. Can we talk inside? Yeah, what's the problem? Afterwards, you follow the beast into the workshop. I'm sorry for getting a little emotional there for a second, but things might not actually be serious, but... But it's just that Piper and Alloy think that she's been missing all day. Nobody can get a hold of her. Uh, don't tell me she upscanned it with it. Don't worry, Piper is so man. nice and she loves such, so there's no way she wants up with it. There's always a bit 3 million days flying around, new edits somewhere, but why isn't Bernice? We're both on the kind. However, I'm still a little worried about Piper's safety, you know. She's been down the hollow since yesterday testing out the vehicle, and as soon as we can reach her, she might still be down there. What if thing went wrong to the vehicle and she got trapped, and what if we got too, she got too obsessed and... Let's go take a look in the hollow then. That's what I thought, and I had done the hollow and with your orders. Okay, with Piper. Okay, sister, let's take this. Piper seems to got missing while we found vehicle, the vehicle testing the hollow, and you're going with the bunnies to take a look for. Let's go to H D. Don't worry, wise. Let's leave some me too. Do not worry, master. I will do my utmost to support you. Of course, sicknesses will also help. Hey! Wow, you sure are a Disney today, fairy. For a woman I'm powerful, that is incoming. I will do my best. What's that face she just made? Yeah, <laughs> she's staying to my soul. Okay, you got it. You got it. Oh my god, I love how she In is. My years as a proxy, this is the first time I've ever seen somebody try to find someone at a location. Yeah, that one. Tiny <sighs> marks from a truck. He must have been stuck here. Uh, he can't have gotten hey, that far. Hey, he's he's over here. here. I knew it! How dare you lay a finger on Piper! I'm gonna teach him a lesson. She's the pig, like, I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm kidding. Okay, anyways. They're not going the way. Hold up! So why is the money that I'm for? She got locked up. What the fuck just happened? Bunny's pucks. That's when you guys managed to find me. I guess some people must find out about us winning the lottery. We must start getting out the hands so I cannot be for a lottery ticket. That's too much. We are go find them and give them the place of our goddamn minds! I'm not sure if we can come and mutual understanding if we tuck things through. Oh, I kicked the big the asses! Those greenhorns couldn't hurt a flea. Mm. 
Who next? Uh, I don't know why I press space bolt and my timing to do that. That is cool. I like that. Hey, oh, you hit me? Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go. Who next? You burn together. Yeah. Let's go. Burn them up. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'll go this way. Actually, we've seen him somewhere before. Really? They're just trying to make ends meet in the outer room. I have a drive. You coming this way? Yeah, I'm busy a friend. Oh, big guy. Fun. This one. Ah. Don't try that. Nice! Chop his leg off. Boss, I already told you. We're facing Bernice and Piper from the Sons of Caladon. They're too much for us to handle. <laughs> but a real man fights against the impossible. Not true. That true. 100%. It will not only cover my ex-wife's child support. What? But also help protect our land. Impressive! Using someone else's lottery ticket to pay for your own child support. You're still worried about protecting your land? What a hero! I'm sure your child would be proud! <laughs> what? And he's quite over Bernice is singing. Uh, trust me, Bernice doesn't mean any harm. That's just the way she talks. I know I may not be a good father, but I grew up in the Outer Rig, and I love these lands to the depths of my soul. I loved my wife too, but these lands remain my greatest love. I'll protect it with my life. Even if some crazy fuel maniac with a billion in prize money plans to buy the entire area as their own fuel testing site, I'll fight to the bitter end. Uh, who's this fuel maniac who sounds even greater than me? Good. Can you introduce me to them? I think he's talking about the rumored version of you. Huh? Me? Uh, I would never do that! Uh, but now that you mention it, who do I buy the Outer Rings lands from? Well, also, the prize isn't even a billion. It's just three million. Just three million? Uh, if I had that kind of money, my child support would... Um, boss, now's not the time to be talking about child support. It seems you've fallen for the most extreme version of the rumor, but she doesn't actually have any such plans. Oh, but now that I think about it, setting fire to the outer ring sounds pretty cool. Take it easy, Bernice. We're just about to clear up the misunderstanding. <laughs> well, I guess we came here for nothing. We came here with empty stomachs, hoping to make a killing with that lottery ticket. But it seems we'll be going home still hungry. It's all right, boss. It doesn't matter if we didn't get the money. The other's low blood sugar has improved tremendously. It won't be like last time when Dicky fainted in that ethereal nest. Oh, wait. wait. Uh, just wait a minute. You're the ones who came charging at us. But now you're trying to put on a sad, starving act? Now we're the bad guys? Hey, Bernice, say something. Okay, I've 
decided. Dare I ask what you've decided? To provide self-service snacks during the first Bernie's Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival, of course. A heart needs more than nitro fuel to keep pumping. What? Did I miss something? The first what? She wants to feed these guys. The first Bernie's Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival. Uh, what's that? I haven't mentioned it to you. Oh, I don't think I have. Well, it's all right. I can just tell you now. I plan to use my one million to buy different flavors of premium nitro fuel and drink with everyone in the outer ring for seven days and nights straight. What do you think? I'm sure everyone will love it. Um. Uh, are you serious? Free nitro fuel and snack? And we're all invited? Boss, you're not dreaming. It's a promise straight from Bernice of the Sons of Caledon. Is this even a good idea? Yep, that's right. You can even bring along your ex-wife and daughter. No! Oh, uh, wait. How old is your daughter? It was her fourth birthday yesterday. Then I'll book her a ticket for the 20th Bernice Cup. If only I knew you were planning to do such a good deed with your winnings. Uh, what have I done? I actually tried to rob a charitable angel like you! I tried to rob a saint! If we weren't so tired from hunger, we'd be tossing you into the air and cheering right now! Wow! I want to get tossed up in the air! Next time you see me, you have to toss me! It's a promise! What?! Of course! Of course we will! She's so we'll carefree! <laughs> Bye! Proxy said the nearest hollow exit is over there! Um, I didn't say anything. Bonnie smart as the way of literally saying off the case of will support each other as they walk off. Hear that? They want to throw me up in the air and cheer! Ah, oh, everyone here is so nice. Not everyone! I don't know what to say. Proxy? Me either. Uh, what a touching scene. What a touching scene. But Bernice, you said you wanted to spend all of it on a nitro fuel party? Were you serious? Absolutely! I've been wanting to do it since before I had a million. Oh, everyone's gonna be so happy! Tell me you want my idea. Mm. You can host a nitro fuel party, but it can't be called the Bernice Cup. You've got to come up with your own name. Oh, don't worry. We would never consider doing something like that. Compared to you, the proxy and I are normal people. As ordinary as they come. We have lots of things we want to do and spend our money on. That's why we'll spend our money on improving our own lives. Right, proxy? Mm -hmm. At the fighting pipe, Ayo returns to 6th Street. Okay. Wow, a whoop demon! They actually transferred the man Dennis to my account! Hey, every day is a heal again! The last time he was happy was, was, was when that mommy dog in the Halloween brought the puppies over to me. Mm, one million. It's like a dream come true. A few more of these, and I wouldn't feel like doing honest hard work anymore. Wait, you guys all get a million Dennis? Yeah, Piper told me you get crazy high times in the city, but you still get a couple hundred thousands or something like that, right? Only got around 300k Denny's. Oh, that is really, you know, but hey, you can always come out the Halloween, you know. Hey, don't sweat it. It's 300,000 Yenis. That's good enough. A huge chunk of Denny's, wait. Well, I've been through the awkward scenes where you struggle to find the last 200,000 days at the restaurant. Wait, you haven't? Bunnies have mains and you boost the balance is a good thing. It's help easy to find this push at mid. I wish should have hit up with Tubbo. Hmm. The old brown Enzo said a truck with a six sick tuck is a waste of his best oil. Let's see if he says the same thing into some cold hard ash cash. But I also broke an appointment to meet up with my food supplies. Hey, look I can buy her lunch today. I'm heading home. Cool, let's look then. And Boxy, tell me when you go back home safe, okay? That's Lee left on the corner. Could you show me a little corner instead? I'll give Bernice well, both of them a hug. After the discussion, Bernice's papa leaves. Uh huh. Wait, no, she's still here. Hold up, Piper? Why is she still here? Uh, that's because of the pride, but hey, you got to admit your hospital is incredible. Let me see. The more you see, the more it's interesting to try it. That's I'm talking. What's Bernice? Sister! Hey! The king is at the Piper. And Bernice sent it off with just a few words in the main Denny's. That was impressive. Now it's more than one way. Welcome back, Master. I have put out new adjustment income tax form for you. Below is the last month's power bill and an overdue fine. Family, on a day that's in like this, could you please take about anything other than a depression tax support? Anyway, great job, wise. I'll next to get some rest. Yep, I'm going to sleep. One more to go. Pipe. 
her. Have you been feeling down lately? I don't know how to answer the book question like that. It's not that I'm down, I'm just, there's nothing good been coming my way, so I can't put myself up. But that's just every life, and I'm used to it by now. But I wanna see you smile, Piper! I haven't fucking smiled just because you wanna see me smile. What are you, the smile police? Oh, Piper's such a total move, not even I can make her happy. Wait, I got it! Every time you're in the proxy, you're also really happy. <laughs> I'll show them a dear action if they come to Halloween. Um. Joy! I mean, I'm already here! He's like, I was just coming anyways. Hey, girls! Hey, Proxy. How have you been? Uh, a lot of things has happened. A lot of things have happened. Just don't ask. What happened? Ugh, the atmosphere is so heavy, it's like a fly got stuck to a mousetrap. What happened to the smile you had when leaving with the one million that day? An adult smile vanishes with their money. It's gone? One million is still a huge sum after tax. But it's gone already? Huh, I know you've been modifying Steel Tusk. Did you make it run on Denny's or something? Not quite, but close. You know I've been trying to improve Steel Tusk's performance. So, once I had the money, I immediately started searching for the best parts on the market. That's when someone contacted me, saying there was a top-of-the-line truck engine that came from a source with an interesting backstory. Oh, it was such a beauty. I bought it as soon as I saw it. Didn't even haggle. Bernice, you were there at the test drive after we installed it on Steel Tusk, right? Oh, I remember! Steel Tusk won't lose to any vehicle in a contest of speed now! Uh, too bad it ran out of gas after just three kilometers, or I would have driven it for the entire day! <sighs> That's the problem. I used premium fuel, but the engine's design sacrifices efficiency for power. With the heavy truck and cargo, even a full tank only lasts three kilometers. Yeah, Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency does seem to have a problem. Three kilometers? Ugh, that's like a school bus. Obviously, I had to do something about it. I even considered reinstalling the old engine, but... I knew I couldn't go back after I put my hands on its steering wheel and got a taste of its speed. So, I needed another solution. Call me desperate, but I bought every exotic energy-saving part I could find on the market, consulted an expert who charged 10,000 denies per hour, and even tried to modify the engine myself. Well... Long story short, I spent all that money for nothing. That's Damn. so touching. You're like a husband who won't give up on his terminally ill wife. Uh, don't say my wife. Uh, no, I mean, don't say my truck is terminally ill. Hmm. Uh, that's visible just like me. Piper, it really hasn't been easy for you. Before coming here, I thought I had it worse than everyone else. I mean, you pay all the bills. You too, Proxy? I know you citizens of New Eridu pay several times more tax than us, but even then, how expensive could it be to modify your little car? Uh. What the fuck? No, no, Finn, why do I say that? There's too much to pay for it, too little money. I didn't modify my car, but there wasn't much money left after paying the ridiculously high tax on my overdue power bill. What's more? My friend wanted to borrow some money to invest. I think people in our situation should just stay away from investments, let alone lending money to a friend to invest. Uh, on the bright yeah, side, the prize money cool. hasn't disappeared, it's just That's turned right. into an IOU. Stay positive and hopeful like Bernice, and maybe one day you'll see the money again? Aw, thanks for the compliment! I, I wasn't... Uh, fine. I was complimenting you. It looks like you used your prize money in the best way possible. The proxy and I both thought this money could change your lives. But the happiness didn't last, and life feels even more difficult now. The proxy has to worry day and night about the return on investment, while I constantly worry about how long Steel Tusk can keep running. How did this happen? Bernice, what was on your mind when you spent that money? What was on my mind? Huh. I don't think there was anything on my mind, really. How come you always notice things in life that need changing? Oh, is it because you're smart and observant? Uh, I have everything I want. I have fuel, nitro fuel, and 
the best friends in the world. Who's Princess your best Yuko friend? Is it um I'll take it in stride. Caesar? Like how you were new to me, Proxy. But now we're friends. And I know that you like me for me, so I don't need to change anything about myself. Not that I would. Not for you, anyone, or anything. That's why I'm dragging you two along with me to complete commissions. Even though I know you're both in a bad mood. Maybe you'll cheer up after getting some action. Hmm. Let's go then. Fine. I gotta work hard for next month's power bill. Mm -hmm. Damn, we sound so upset. By the way, why is it just those two do these, do these, do these quests? I can't even speak, wait. Piper, get yourself together! I'm totally together. No, you're not. Ugh. Yeah, see? Hey. Bongo! But you could have been Lucia Lon or, but, or Caesar? Yeah, those two, those two. Damn, she is so powerful for a win counter. Miss. Okay, let's go. Do you want fast as it was? Oh my god, big guy again. What was that to say? Let's catch up with them. What up? Got some money in the ground. Let me collect some. They're called Danny, not coins. Is that enough for coins actually? Ooh, extra income. Oh, I want a grenade. Hey, you fucker! That strange enemy again. Hmm. I miss. Can't let our guard down. Oh, that's scary. These kids are bursting with energy. Yes. The quarter's left. Full throttle. Hyper. Oh. Hit me. <laughs> Let me go after that one. Blade, 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 blade. Keep on spinning. You gone? Just staying there. Oh. Where'd they go? They're going away from us. They're being pussies. Watch out! Do I have coins? What am I doing? <laughs> you said it! Yeah! Huh? Does it? Are we back to that girl again? I want to see her again? Spinning. Spinning. Play Blake. That took so much. You've been burned to death. No, oh, this is something from all that's going on. Was that somebody up ahead? Wouldn't be surprised if there was. Same person as before. Wait. Different person. <laughs> oh, thank you, kind hearted youngsters. And this cutie bang boo, of course. Even the grandpa woman said that. Cutie bang boo. Cutie bang boo. Again? Wait, is it just me? Or does it seem like this old man is about to pull out a lottery ticket to show his gratitude? You. <laughs> How did you know? I haven't taken out the lucky lottery ticket I use as my lucky charm yet. Uh, I knew it! Is this one of those pranks that you kids are into these days? Or was I right all along about the impending doom of the world and the new Eridu government monitoring everyone? <laughs> oh, wow! It's a wonderful thing! <laughs> Calm down first. At the very least, I can guarantee that I, Bernice, am not a government agent. Uh, I can't vouch for the two next to me, though. Hey, you've known us for ages. Vouch for us. 
Oh, fine. Since you look like my mm, first love when she was young, I'll take your word for it. Uh, here, take this lottery ticket. It'll bring you good luck. Thanks. Is this a miracle lottery ticket that can win three million? A miracle? Miracles are worth so much more than just three million. Since I started carrying this lottery ticket, I've never had a bad day. Such an incredible streak of luck is worth more than 30 million. Amazing! Is 30 million enough to transform a volcano into a nitro fuel fountain? What? 30 mil? I don't need that much. 10 million is more than enough to solve all of Steel Tusk's problems. Uh, uh, were we talking about Ethereals just now? Um, you were just calling for help from a pile of Ethereals. Don't you think you're pushing it by saying you're incredibly lucky? But I really can sense a lucky energy from this lottery ticket! It feels warm and sticky. What? Like, come? Um, anyways, I'll come to your senses, Bernice. That's not lucky energy. Come to your senses, Bernice. Roxy, stop overthinking things. This 30 million could ease all the hardships of an adult's weary life. Now's the time to celebrate. If I were in the car, I'd be honking like mad. Uh... Uh, snap, snap the fuck out of it, Piper. Snap out of it, Piper. No matter how much tax you pay, you can't withdraw 30 million from your imagination. Something's going on. It shouldn't be said that the two is good to old mouth all through the newest exit. <laughs> I'm going to be the goddess of a volcanic lake filled with nitro fuel. Did you drop this bottle of vintage drink? Or oh, that glass of dearest special? Steel Tusk, wait for me. I'll never give up on you. I'll make you the best truck in the history of the Outer Ring. <laughs> Don't just stand there, Proxy. The live broadcast of the lottery is over, but we can still check the winning numbers in a newspaper. Bernice and I will look for a newspaper. We'll wait for you to come and witness this miracle moment. Yeah, this is very strange. Yeah, the top has its own noise station. I thought the close to the special energy inside that work of all puns with numbers. 30 million! 30 million! 30 million! Uh, you two are getting your hopes up a little high. My hands are shaking so hard right now. Even more than had to jump that I couldn't even find the bathroom. Poxy, could you please check those numbers for us? Dirty man, dirty man, dirty man, please come on. What? They open up the newspaper. I'm not gonna use that app. Like, holy shit. Let me see what that says. What does it say? Are you sure you want to open it? Yeah, check! It's open. Are you sure you want to do any numbers? Check! The window is numbers. I show you want to uh, guess the the tickets. Check the window was I. Do you match up exactly? The tickets are the one track with the name in Denny's. No way, it's a joke. How's it even possible? Sometimes letting me just check twice in the same place. Check it again. The match up exactly. The tickets are one the track with the name in Denny's. Demon, these match up exactly. These tickets are one track with the name in Denny's. But huh? Hmm, this is very strange. Hey, Bernice. Proxy, do you have any good news for us? I have bad news. I have both good news and bad news. I strongly suggest that you hear the bad news first. No, yeah. No, I want to hear the good news first. I think it's about time something good happened in my life. I want to hear the good news too. I'm the type who always hears the good news first. Ugh. We won 30 million. We won the 30 million jackpot. I knew it! I knew it! Uh, there's still the bad news, for fuck's sake. I don't want to spoil the party, but there's still the bad news. The ticket was issued more than a year ago. I checked the conditions, and the redemption period is one year. The redemption period ended one month ago, which means the prize money has been returned to the pool. No way! So you're saying we have no claim to the 30 million anymore? Sorry. If you think about it from another perspective, maybe the 3 million we won before is part of this 30 million! <sighs> How do you know? Uh, what do you think, Piper? Does thinking about it like that make you feel better? <laughs> Piper? That's more like it! There's nothing I love more than Piper's joyful smile and infectious laughter! That doesn't look like a happy smile. I'm not sure if that's the sound of laughter or a breaking heart. I knew it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. 
I once thought I understood everything, but now I know that I don't understand anything at all. <sighs> Sorry, Steel Tusk. I'll reinstall your old oh, engine and return to my old life. <sighs> What's wrong with that? After all, the characters all return to their old lives at the end of Adventure Story. I don't understand. But I'm sure about one thing. You mustn't reinstall the old engine. What will I do with the new fuel formula I spent all night researching if you do that? Oh, what's that? You have a new fuel formula? Oh, didn't I tell you? While thinking about Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency issue after our last test drive, it hit me. Why not tackle a fuel problem with a fuel-related solution? Instead of making hardware modifications. I, I already tested person. the effects of my new formula with Steel Tusk this morning. What? How did it go? Uh, I guess it was okay. It consumed about 10% oh, more fuel than the old engine. I added a little more of the good stuff to the formula. Mm, but the cost increases a bit too. But I'm sure you'll be okay with it if it means Steel Tusk can perform at its best. Oh, you're right. This solves Steel Tusk's fuel consumption problem. I know, I know. What you want to do most right now is to test it out, right? I should have enough of the test fuel to fill up the tank. I'll fill it up now. It won't be long. Okay. When he swans off the cliff full while Peppa looks on the mixed feeling. She's so amazing. The charm of a return to everyday life ending. Perhaps it's because the everyday includes friends like Bernice and you, Proxy. Compared to suddenly getting rich and feeling lonely after a major life change, Maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> no, I still really want to get rich. What should I do? Oh, hmm. uh, no one lies on that bad. Don't you think it's too much torture to live with a delusion that you can get something for nothing? Our peaceful daily lives are worth cherishing because you never know when the peace will end. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Lady Luck might favor people who That's are content and pure-hearted like you, rather than a mercenary like me. Oh. <laughs> the tank is filled to the brim. Full speed ahead, Steel Tusk! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> well, I'm off now. You take care, Proxy. Don't worry. I'll be sure to call you the next time Bernice enters a hollow to save some old people. Again? Well, okay. Hey there, Lamom. Guys, welcome back. One of was a one of emotion, but despite getting let down by a lot of deep, but he's helping Pepper with her situation was still pretty sweet, right? Welcome about matter, I'm about to go into power city mode. Before I go into power city mode, please be advised, there was a custom of abuse, so please do the game pretty master. Huh? Speaking of the devil. <gasps> Nicole! Oh my god, I haven't seen you so long! Proxy, now I got some amazing good news! I went for some puffer. Well, might have taken it longer than a while, but there's been a massive certain post today that paid up anything we invested in, and then some things are on up and up for us! Let me see, is that you real? I feel really touched to see the sun valve that we invested away again. Hey, look, could you tell Think about the big fish instead. Check out the dead here, plus the endless here. But if it's just the beginning, checking is always happens overnight, and there's a chance to turn your life around. If you got any money lying around, you should stop from this. I was I was this close to buying Billy and Turbo for some more cash, and don't ask if there was a stab or if it was spare parts. I don't even think about them. The point is, if you don't check out on his heart, the infest one did, you're gonna miss out. Come on, Posse, I'm just waiting for you to go ahead. Hey, um, after a short while. No, you don't make any follow-up investment. You'll draw your capabilities. Actually, I get it. Raising that suspicious experience with Bernice and Piper is enough to make you question anything you thought you knew about life. Uh, I just really couldn't trust the full investment in sisters. Can't argue with that, at least not until the cunning heroes pay us back to money we own. Besides, there are more than likely just money. There are plenty of things we could do to that if we just never making money. We're on the same page about this, right? Living a good life one step at a time, that's what's most important. But then again, what if Nicole and Vincent really did earn a stack of cash? Would you regret keeping up with all night wise? Just kidding, I've been a crazy day today. Wait, you get some spice. Yep. That's it? That's story Chris? That's me Moy. That's actually it. I was I thought it would be like longer than this. That's kinda weird. Oh I'm gonna bail. My subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.